This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the face that's looking at you right now is that of Stephen Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Alex. How are you? I am uh, fine. I'm a little lightheaded today because I think I have this positional vertigo. I think my neurologist figured out by just, I think they just they, they say, okay, follow my eye. And then if your right. eye kind of quivers, it means you have positional vertigo. So that's what I've got. And so I'm, I, some days I'm lightheaded and other days I'm not, you know. So, yeah, you know. What are you going to do? A, a life full of, uh, full of uh, uh, not misery, but, you know. Adventure. It, yeah, exactly, exactly. So how are you doing? I'm doing all right. You're doing, doing okay? Right. You're doing all yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I just... Uh, I want to hold on a second. I want to change something here because uh, I I want to. There we go. Okay. I just I just needed to do something here. I, I, I have all this technical stuff I have to do while trying right. to talk to somebody. Yeah. So you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. I had a physical last week. Yeah, and how did that come out? My uh, cholesterol is a little high. A little high. But my blood pressure is low, so go figure. Yeah, well, I, I uh, last time I had a test on my blood, they found that uh, uh, I, I didn't have blood in my stool, but I had stool in my blood. So, you know, it was... Good night, uh, everybody. Good night, everybody. We'll see you later. Uh, but uh, so they found the cholesterol. Was little, that was it? That was it. I mean, out of all of that, that's all they could come out with? No, everything else is fine. You know, my liver's fine. My kidneys are fine. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Just don't, you know, I really t tell people this. I, I honestly believe this. Don't go to the hospital. Otherwise, because like I went to the emergency room. Right. Because then they put you through every test known to mankind because they don't want to get sued. Right. And I just had a friend who the same thing happened to him. He went into the emergency room and he's still there three days later. Is that right? Yeah, because they're giving him colonoscopies and endoscopies and this oscopy and that oscopy. <laughs> yeah. What I often want, said I wanted to do is I wanted to have a, a situation where I would hire a, a gastroenterologist and a urologist and they would do a, an endoscopy which goes down your throat. Okay. As a uh, uh, colonoscopy, which goes, goes up, up your, your butt. butt, right? And, right. and then a, a cystoscopy, which goes up your penis. Oh, God. I had one of those. That must hurt like hell. It doesn't really, you know, but you'd rather not have it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I, I don't even want to think about it. I, I, I figured, you know, down at Guantanamo, if they wanted them to talk, they could just do it under the guise of good medical care. Right. And just say, let's do a cystoscopy. But by the way, let's not put him out. You know. Well, they put you out for it. No, they don't put you out for it. I remember it now. They did it. and they, I had two of them. And lucky you. Lucky me. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Uh, and uh, they were, they were, they were, you know, they were, they were not, they were not fun, but they weren't particularly painful. Okay. You know, it, it's, but anyway, what I want to do is have the cystoscopy, an endoscopy, and a colonoscopy all at the same time and then see if they could see each other. <laughs> Why not? I, that's the way I roll. Uh, you're, living, you're living the dream. Yeah, I'm living the dream. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, it's, but it's good that you went and you got that stuff done. Right. Yeah. Right. 
it isn't a full thing, but it it does enough to give right. some indication of you know. And I went and got my pneumonia shot and my flu shot yesterday. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get my my booster, my you know the COVID. the latest COVID booster. Have you gotten that yet? No, I haven't gotten that yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking I get we're getting that tomorrow. You know, I I just keep up on all the shots. I feel like remember you had a dog. Right. And they said, has he had all his shots? Oh, right. right I feel right, I right. feel like a dog. Have, I, have you had all your shots? Hmm. You know, so. Have you had a flu shot and a pneumonia shot? I had a flu shot this year. I've had, yeah. pneumo- I've had a pneumonia shot in the past. So I think if you, you only need one pneumonia shot, I think every 10 years or something that like right? that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's see. Have have you had your uh, have you had your polio shot? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, well, you know it's coming back again. Yeah, so they say. We had one case in New York City, and they've gone batshit. Right, no kidding. Well, you know this was a this uh, the thing about polio that was amazing, is that it was a disease that we literally wiped out. Right on the entire face of the earth. Right. But there were little pockets here and there, you know, uh, and now it's kind of coming back because parents don't think when their kids are growing up, hey, let's make sure we get his polio shot. Right. So now kids are not immune to it. So people are taking care of it now, but they they went batshit over one case and they found it in the water. They didn't even find it in a person. They found it in the water? Yeah, New York's water. The water that's supposed to be so great right? that it's the cleanest water in America, right? Cleanest water in the planet. We found polio. Actually, we found it in, I think, sewage or something like that. But, you know. well, what were they doing looking for it? I don't know. They had nothing better to do. You know, I, I I came up with a theory the other day that you won't get sick if you don't go to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, huh? You know, I mean, I um, every t- I've had a situation like this where I went into the emergency room, and before I came out, uh, twelve hours, thir- fourteen hours later, they had done everything they possibly could. And they found something that might be dangerous, but you better go see a doctor immediately. And then I went, they referred me to this this doctor, this oncologist, and they looked at it and they went, we looked at all your stuff and uh, we can't see you. You don't have anything. Uh-huh. But the person at the emergency room was panicked over it. You know? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because the people, at the, the people at the emergency room are like, they're not the best doctors at the hospital. No. You know? And in my case, it was a, I never heard of this before, a PA, physician's assistant. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah. So she was doing all the work up on me, and she was right. the one that sent me over to this other place. You know, oh, hey, no. you, you might have lymphoma. Well, okay, I I might have lymphoma. So they looked at all the stuff, the oncologist, and said, we can't see you. You don't have cancer. Right. You know, so they're not. Come back when you have cancer. So I went through that, right? Now my friend goes in on Monday, and he's still there. He's still in the hospital? He's still in the hospital, as of us speaking at when we're recording this. Uh, Yeah, yeah. He's just, you know, he's still That's there. That's crazy. And they gave him an endoscopy and a cystoscopy, uh, not a cystoscopy, a, 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 what do you call it, colonoscopy. colonoscopy. And they did all the blood work and they did the da 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 and they, and they kept him in the hospital two, what, well, I guess two nights. Right. And maybe they might go not let him out till tomorrow. And I'm going, what is this, a hospital wanting to make sure they kind of pad the bill? You know? Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. You know, either that or it has to do with another thing I talk about, and that is defensive medicine. In other words, they don't want to get sued. Right. Okay? So they practice defensive medicine. And you're going, wow, you know, that's that's kind of incredible. Right. You know. Um, 
So, I mean, uh, what should happen is I think that all doctors should be insured by the government. Okay? Oh, okay. So they are then not afraid to go out and do this stuff. Right. You know, or to take a chance with you or to try and give an opinion. But instead, they're going crazy, you know. They 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 they, they, they don't want to have to deal with uh, you coming back to them and saying, "I'm going to sue you because you didn't find this or you didn't right. find that." So if they pawn you off on somebody else, that 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 takes the responsibility off of them. Right. And now you're in the emergency room. The hospital doesn't want to get sued. So what do they do? They overdo the whole thing. You know, they make a big deal out of it. So, ah, uh, you know, what the hell? But that's, they can go to the ER and end up with a twenty thousand dollar bill. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Well, we we pay. Well, my my wife's uh, b uh, bosses pay uh, about three hundred and twenty bucks a month for each of us. Oh, so, really? So that, that much? So, yeah. So that we have the ultimate insurance. We have our Medicare, and then the supplemental. Everything's taken care of. Who's your supplemental with? Uh, it's with uh, it's with ARP. AARP. Who's oh, okay. I, I can't remember. I think maybe they do it through somebody like United Health or whatever. Right. I think you're right. Yeah, but I think you're right. I think they go through United Health. But it's expensive. But I would keep it even after she, her people aren't paying for it anymore, just simply because I see it as uh, insurance, a definite right. insurance that I won't have to. Pay. The only thing is, I started adding up the numbers, and I'm thinking, ah, eh, three twenty a month, three twenty a month. Eh. That's uh, almost four thousand dollars a year, so and they're only going to be paying twenty percent of what Medicare doesn't pay, right? Of the hundred percent, they they have to pay the twenty percent. So at the end of a year, unless I get really really sick and get something that's costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay, am I going to see that money back, or am I just kind of like just paying it in advance? Well, yeah, you're, pay, you're paying in advance so you don't get hit with a you know a hundred thousand dollar bill. That's probably what the, the best way to look at it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but anyway, so you know, uh, but you know that uh, I used to have the twenty percent uh, uh, certain deductible and so on because I it was under after and they had a deductible thing, so I'd oh, always really? have to pay a little bit every time I did something like that. But yeah, when did, I had SAG insurance, there was a deductible of $25, I believe. Yeah, something like that. I mean, there there were deductibles, but they didn't amount to it so much that it went crazy. But right. I got to tell you, under this new plan, I just walk out of the hospital. I don't get a bill. Right. You know. Me neither. Oh, they do send me something from Medicare that says, you may have to pay blah, blah, blah. But no, I won't because that insurance takes care of it. Right, you know? right, right. Like, I have Medicare... Medicaid and uh, supplemental. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but here's what happens. When guys like Steve and I get together and we talk about stuff, what's the first thing we talk about? Health insurance. That's right. <laughs> or, or our current complaints. Right. What, whatever right. they may be. Okay. I just turned on the air conditioner. It's getting... Damn okay, Get, you know what? What is with the weather? It, isn't September supposed to come and now everything goes cool? Right. And it's not. I woke up in the middle of the night having to turn on the air conditioner. Is that right? Yeah, because it was too uh, humid. Right. It, it humid. It wasn't hot, but it was right. humid. And you, you know, you, uh, heat I don't mind. Humidity, go fuck yourself, you know. You know, that bothers me. So, well, anyway. that's what they say. They say it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it, it, the humidity is always the part that gets to me. But by now, this is, this is we're in, uh, towards the end of September. Right. We should be into cooler weather right now. And how, how right. is that up there? It's cooler, but today is muggy. See? Today's muggy. When did you ever know that? In the middle of uh, of, of, uh, of September. In fact, I used to say, 
gee, why do we always say the weather's going to change in September, you know, on September 1st? And usually always on September 1st it changed. Yeah, but it, right? But it doesn't anymore. Well, that's because of climate change. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, do we not have a climate problem? Nah, we don't have a climate problem. Right, 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 right. That's why half of California is burning up right now. Right. You know? oh, and, oh, and, the, and the other half is dealing with mudslides. Yes, yes. Well, no. What happens is, what happens is, you have the fires, right? And the, then, and, no the, and then the trees, the, the trees get burnt down. So right. now you have heavy rains, and then you have mudslides because there are no trees to hold back the mud. Right. Right. Exactly. California's got a lot of problems. Yeah. And most of them are climatological. You know. Right. Right. It used to be, you know. The, Reagan was governor or something like that, but now the biggest problem is, is the is the weather weather caused situations. I mean, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Right, and there's people that are denying this climate change. So, I love those people. Yeah. Now you like you like it up in Massachusetts, don't you? Yeah. It's is a good living, good good life up there. Yeah, it's okay. No complaint. Yeah, yeah. And is there a lot to do, or don't you do a lot? I don't do much. Really? Kind of stay home? Yeah. Watch. Stay home. Yeah. Watch. Play the guitar, play the drums. Oh, now you were you were worried about your being evicted. Right. I still haven't heard anything. Because his apartment, not because he hasn't paid his rent, but because his apartment house has been bought up by somebody else. Right. And so you're afraid that they were going to, like, let you go. Right, or raise the rent, or double raise, the rent. And you haven't heard anything about it, right? No. Could be nothing's going to happen. You Could know? be. I mean, a, a lot of times people buy rental property as an investment. Right. Okay? And when they take it over, what do they want to kick you out for? You're paying rent every month. Right. You know, and, and what? You're, you, they'd like to raise your rent? Well, you know, then lose you and then have to clean the apartment and re-rent it. I mean, to re-rent it costs a, costs a lot of money. Yeah, no kidding. I know because my, my wife owns some rental a rental property here in New York. Is that right? Yeah, and every time somebody leaves, she's got to fork out a couple of thousand bucks to get it all painted and fixed right. and, and stuff like that. So it looks nice. Yeah. So, it, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it doesn't work, okay? that way but anyway well uh, the four apartments in this building two are free two are free two are, are, are empty oh they're empty right okay but is that because they keep them empty or because uh well one guy the guy on the top floor passed away yeah and the people on the first floor they uh bought a house oh okay so there are two empty apartments and right. nobody four. and nobody's renting them. No. Okay, so it probably is not in the best interest of that landlord, your new landlord, to get rid of you. Right. Okay, because then he's got a you know he's already got two empty apartments. He wants three. Maybe four. Four. So I mean, you're you're fine. I think you're going to be okay. You know. Right. I mean, you'd rather not move if you don't have to, right? Right. Yeah. If push comes to shove, I can move in with this woman in Memphis. I can move to Memphis. You can move in with a woman in Memphis. Right. Why would you be moving in with a woman in Memphis? Because uh, we used to date. We were pretty heavily involved at one point. Okay. So we're still in touch. So you're still in touch. And she invited me to come live with her. Well, well, that the, 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 you may not have to pay rent, but there's another obligation there. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. And that's the truth. You better, you better put out, or I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna get a a new uh, new guy to live here. But, right. Yeah. Um, Actually, I'm going up to Maine next month to see her. She's flying out to the East Coast. She's coming into Maine. Oh, okay. So I'm going to see her for a week, and probably the end of uh, October. Oh, okay. So is this kind of something that maybe... Maybe. 
Who knows? Is, is, is this bubbling under? Keep my options open. When did you when did you first date her? Around 1987, 88. 87, 88. So that was in San Francisco? No, that was in L.A. It was in L.A. Okay. When wow. I was at the comedy store. Yeah. And uh, how long did you date? A few years. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is something, and why did you break up? Am I, or am I asking too many questions here? No, you're not asking too many questions. <laughs> Why'd you break up? Oh, I think I cheated on her. Oh, you think you cheated on I her? I think. Wait I don't minute. know yeah. exactly why we broke up. To be truthful with you, Alex, I don't know exactly why. Well, obviously, if you went for two years, right, and then you broke up, right, th there had to be some reason. I can't think of it offhand. Uh, are you trying to block it? I think so. I mean, are you going to like see this woman and all of a sudden wake up the next morning and go, now I remember. Right, 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 right. Did you ever do well, that? I, huh? I spent a week with her in Albuquerque a few years back. And I'm going to spend a week with her in Maine and we'll see how things go. How does the week in Albuquerque work? Went great. Really? Yeah. So it wasn't at that point that you both decided, hey, let's let's get this going again. Right. I don't. Uh, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I would. I would have a tendency to say, uh, okay, well, let's, you know, let's go with it. You know. Right. Well, I don't want to end up stranded in Memphis. Well, that's true. Why is she living in Memphis? What took her to Memphis? Oh, uh, she's from that part of the world. Mm-hmm. I think she's originally from Little Rock. Oh, okay. All right. She's a Southern girl. Oh, okay. But you don't know if you want to live in Memphis. Right. Yeah. Right. Because you're a Northern boy. That's right. I'm you're, a Yankee. You're a Yankee. Now, you know, once you... One, if I guess if you live in the South, you like it. And I if guess. You, and if you don't live in the South, you don't like it. Although, I... You know what town I really liked living in? It was one of the best towns I ever lived in? Houston, Texas. Is that right? And you would think a kid from California wouldn't like Houston, Texas. Right. Wonderful town. Wonderful town. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I felt very bad. I, I don't think I felt worse about leaving any city I had to leave because I was always leaving cities. Right. Right. Uh, only in one case one step ahead of the law uh, and uh, that was that was in Houston believe it or not because is that right well I had some goods on the police department I was going to reveal that they were having Ku Klux Klan meetings at the police department are you kidding me and they knew that I knew and they were going to plant some drugs on me and bust me and somehow I'd gotten this job in Minneapolis so we left a day before the cops were going to plant the stuff on me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I never left because I thought the cops were after me. I just left right. because I had a, what I considered a, a job that was more in line with what I wanted to do with my career. Right. You know. So anyway, uh, you, know, you know, so, uh, it, it, but it's, it's nice to know that maybe there's a little... Little romance for uh, an Altacaca like you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably never considered it again, right? You never thought right. it was was going to happen again. Right. But right. Th this may be somebody that you know. Sometimes there are people that you knew in your past that somehow come a, come along and are part of your present. Right, and uh, and it turns out to have been a good thing and a really good thing that you kind of passed up on earlier. So, right, right. So who knows, you know? Well, she's completely nuts. Well, aren't they all? As they say, yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, my my wife's crazy. Right. You know, I'm the one who's totally sane, but oh, to hear but to hear her say it, it's the other way around. Right, yeah. right.
Right, of course. But no, that's wonderful. Uh, it'd be, ni- be nice if uh, maybe you got something going like that. Yeah, Listen, that'd be all right. I, I just looked, and we've run out of time for this little edition of Let's Talk to uh, uh, Our Good Friend Stephen Kravitz. But can we talk to you again next week? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to Stephen Kravitz. Bye, Steve. Bye, Alex. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, let me turn the mic up a little more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, hi. How are you? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, today, uh, let's see, what I do today? Oh, today, oh, today, I, uh, I look at this, wait a minute, maybe, maybe we can see it, wait a minute, I didn't take it off yet, you, you know what happens, whenever you get a vaccination, they put one of these on you, now there's no reason to put it on you, you know, I mean, it's not like, you know, whatever, it's gonna get infected, and I mean, they don't put any alcohol over it afterwards to make sure it doesn't get infected and so on, but I went and I got my COVID booster, the fifth COVID I've had in how many years? Maybe three years, two years? I don't know. Anyway, but as I look here, there's nobody calling the program. And this really starts getting vexing to me, you know? Oh, well, there's somebody. Here comes, uh, here comes Alan, okay? So I'll just admit him for the moment and... Uh, uh, we'll see if anybody else calls, you know. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I went and got my uh, my little uh, shot today. And uh, it, uh, you know, here I am, all uh, juiced Smart up move. for COVID. Smart move. Huh? Smart move. Well, of course it's a smart move. I mean, I wasn't not going to get it. I'm, I'm, uh, what? I'm not on time. My, uh, my my camera's slow or something. I don't know. Well, it don't don't worry about it. It looks fine here. See. All right. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so how are you doing this evening? Um, I'm doing good. How are you? Other than you got your shot. Well, I got my shot, and I'm feeling a little puny. You know. I get uh, that way after a vaccine. Yeah, any vaccine. yeah. And it's usually about eight hours afterwards. So you know, it happened, and I um, but I got it, so that's good. Yeah, but hmm. I bet Brian's got his already. Oh no, he just got over COVID. He's got to wait a while. Yeah, you got to wait what? A couple of weeks? A couple of months? A couple of months after you've had COVID? How do they know you've had COVID? They look at you. They look at you. Yeah. I'm trying to eat my dinner. Yeah. And I'm watching you on this side. And the first thing you say is, well, nobody's calling. So what do you think I do? Panic. <laughs> what do you mean you panic? What do you, what, you know, Because I, if I sit here and watch you while you're starting the show, nobody's calling. It's going to be the, I'm quitting this. Why do I do this every no, night? No, I, you know what you're going to get from me? You, know, the you, you know, I am so tired lately, and, and I, I get exhausted doing this show for some reason. Uh, maybe I'm just bored with it. I don't know. But I, you have Phil on too much. You know that something? That would exhaust me too. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about changing that actually. About uh, on, uh, um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I was thinking about going to two days a week or three days a week. Mondays, you know, with that show, and then a Wednesday and a Friday. I think that's a good idea. And and then that would mean that I could get rid of Phil. Mm. <laughs> God, the show would be so much more relaxed. Well, all I know is the numbers have gotten terrible lately, you know, of people watching the show. And I don't know that that doesn't have to do with Phil. I mean, last night, if I were listening to this program, and Phil, if you're listening, I'm just speaking the truth. If I were listening to this program last night as a casual listener, I'd turn it off. I rewatched the show in the middle of the night to catch the what you said at the end that I don't catch. Yeah. And I, I gotta tell you, I just I don't poor Phil. I mean he's I mean not poor Phil, it's just the whole group disagrees with him, but he continues on his conspiracy theories. And his economics, they're even more funny. Yeah. But 
you know, I mean, it, it's, it's, cool. you know, I mean, I just, uh, uh, I don't know, I was just, I was, I, last night I was especially irritated. Yeah. You know, um, At because, him or just overall. Well, you know, I got to tell you, you know, how you constantly stand up for this guy. I mean, I think he's just doing it because he feels he has to. I don't think, he, I can't believe because I know him to be a fairly intelligent guy, that I think he, you know, he, I don't think he believes what he's saying anymore. You know? So. Yeah, that, that, that's possible. I, I don't constantly, I only stood up for him for a couple places. Well, you I know, mean, I've stood up for him over the years and I've, I've kept him on in one form or another. But quite frankly, I just think that last night he was so disruptive, you know, and there was a time in which I said to him, listen, you're getting too little disruptive. Would you back off, please? And he continued to talk. And he continued. Yeah, he talked for five minutes. Huh? <laughs> they talked for five more well, minutes. Well, I don't mind him talking. It's the, the what can I call it? It's the sidetracking of the show. Mm. You know? It's like you say something and he, he, he uh, I don't know how to put it. You know. it, it, it's not the way you want the show to go anymore. That's, that, that's no, I'd you like want, it. You want it to be more gentle, and uh, I, it isn't even a matter of it being more gentle. I mean, I don't think we're living in particularly gentle times, but on the other hand, I think we're living in times that are we're getting a little. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just so out of it to tell you the truth because I had this, this shot today. Um, uh, I, I just, you know, I just feel that. We need to to have a a dialogue going, as opposed to an mm -hmm. argument. You know, and he's always arguing. You know, and I, I mean, agree. come on, I mean, let's face it. In the last twenty four <laughs> hours, I'm surprised Trump hasn't taken a gun to his mouth. You know, because everything is not going his way. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know. And I don't care what you feel about the Attorney General of the state of New York, Trump's gonna have to defend himself against that. He can't have much money. He's got so many Class B lawyers. He can't get the A's anymore. No. The A's don't wanna work for him. He, they watch what he does to lawyers. Well, because he, he, number one, he's difficult to work with. He thinks he knows everything. I mean, if you hire a lawyer, you shut up and listen to the lawyer. You know, no you're, not, you're not a lawyer. You don't yeah, you don't micromanage your lawyer. That's right. And that's what he does. So the best lawyer he can come up with is Rudy Giuliani. Please. Now yeah. Rudy's probably going to be disbarred and maybe even go to prison. It, it, Rudy doesn't, I don't think he has the ability to be a lawyer for Trump because I think his law, uh, uh, law, uh, what do you call it? Law. Uh, Bar. But whatever he he lost it, you know. Oh, okay. He doesn't have it in New York anymore. He's not legally a lawyer in New York any longer. So, you know, I mean, it's uh, uh, let's see here. Owner, owner. I think this might be Jason. Jason. No, now it's uh, just a green Earth picture. Jason. No. We're just getting a green picture. Oh, it's the Incredible Hulk. It looks like, you know. The Hulk. Huh? It's Adrian. She's coming in on her uh, iPad. Yeah, yeah. What is well, because owner is usually Jason. Yeah. You know, but I don't oh, know. Okay. It may not. It may just be somebody who is. Oh, there he is. See, hey, it, it is, is Jason. Yeah. I told you it was. Yeah, my wife put some tape over it. I told you. Ah. <laughs> she put some tape over it. Why'd she do that? Uh, Does she think people are going to be watching her? Yeah. Uh, Jeff, uh, let's see your whole face. I, it looks like there Kilroy was here. Yeah. There you go. You're yeah. good. Yeah. So anyway, you know, I just, I just, I'd like to, I, I don't mind spirited discussion. That's not what I'm talking about here. But Phil has become dis disruptive again, you know, and it, it grieves me because I like Phil. You like Phil too, you know. Right. And, and I'd hate that person other than his politics. Huh? 
I don't know that that's his policy. I can't believe <clears throat> that he believes all of what he says. You know, even if I wanted to defend Trump, I think occasionally I could come up something where, well, Trump was wrong doing that. You know, but he can't even come up with that. You know, and and um, for credibility, you know. So, how you doing, Tony? I'm doing okay. You doing all right? A little, yeah, a little yeah. sore, but okay. A little sore. Yeah, not nothing crazy, you know. What do you mean sore? <coughs> sore? Have you been working out? No, I had a I had a procedure to get ready for radiation. No, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I don't want to go with, like into it, but it's kind of like not pleasant, I guess. But it wasn't that bad. They gave me a Valium, Alex, and I never took drugs before. It was two milligrams. Mm -hmm. It must have took the edge off because I wasn't even really that nervous. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> Hoping you would leave us numb yet. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I, I was telling uh, somebody who knows what your situation is mm -hmm. that I would have sent you to my oncologist. I couldn't hear you. I, I would send you to, I would have sent you to my oncologist who is mm -hmm. the preeminent oncologist in this field. You know, he's, he's the guy who pretty much has written the book on the seed stuff, the seed implants. And, yeah. uh, you know, and I hear you're going to get 25 radiation treatments. Yeah, light dose. And, yeah, well, that's not, it, it'd be better if you got the five. You What's know? that? Definitely. The five. It's, it's called, they call it cyber knife, but that's a brand name. But as opposed to 25, it's five. And oh. that's, what, that's what I had. And it wiped it out, you know. But it's a higher dose of radiation. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? I uh, think yeah, I heard I heard about that. I was I kind of opted for this. I just and then I'm gonna get the seeds. Well, then after. But why that. did you what? Why did you opt for it? Well, I really rather not discuss because I was discussing it with you know yeah. my friend who was a nurse too. So she was saying you can do this. You know, kind of standard yeah. procedure. And well, <laughs> you know well, the well, different well, choices well, you well, have. Well, well, that's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of ran it by her. It's all, I mean, side, they all work the same. In the no, they don't. no, they don't. No, uh, they don't. I really don't rather get, I really don't want to discuss it though. So, so Alex. Uh, well, I'm just, I'm just saying not. that if, if, no, I know, if, I know. if you were but interested. But there's so many different variations. I'm not trying to, no, I'm just there, so tired of talking about there it. There is only, there are no variations. There are two things. There's radiation and then there's the seeds. Yeah. There's also one other thing and that's uh, hormones. Okay, but yeah. they, they be, you wouldn't be, they wouldn't give those to you uh, with what you have. Uh, no. But if if I were to get do this all over again, I would not not go for any other doctor than the one that I had. I mean, this is the guy who wrote the book on on uh, seed implantation, and and uh, also is is one of the leading <laughs> testers of the what would they call the stereotactic uh, radiation which is much more radiation, but it's only five uh, episodes, and that's it, you know. Uh, I, 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 you know, I mean, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, but, I mean, you know. They gave me different things to do, and I discussed it with a couple of people. Yeah. And, you know, to me, I feel like, you know, this is what I'm going to do really at that point. I was kind of like, I was going to opt for treatment anyway and not wa wait, watch it. Well, right, so, no, you know, you don't want to wait and watch. No. Uh, yes, uh, Jason. Jason. So, just have to just give me a spoiler alert because I'm uh, behind on my episodes. Your swollen lymph nodes. Is it cancer? Are you dying? You know something? What happened with that was really strange. The 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 doctor at the had an infection well, in well, your the lymph nodes at the or emergency room. Well, no, the uh, doctor at the emergency room. Uh, was I guess trying to keep the emergency room from getting sued or something like that, you know? So she said, "Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta check this with a, a blood a hematologist oncologist mm -hmm. and see what's going on there." So she sent over all the stuff they did on me—the blood tests and the uh, 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 what do you call it? The uh, what do they call the the hemoglobin? Uh, no, 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 not the MRI, but the other thing. Um, CT scan. CT scan. I'm out of it tonight. Can't come up with words. And the CT scan and so on. Send everything over to them. 
And then I called them the next day, and I they said, "Yeah, we got your stuff from your from your doctor, from your from the emergency room, and uh, we're I've turned it over to our oncologist here, and we'll get back to you." And the next day, she got back to me, and she said, "I'm sorry, but unless you have cancer, we can't take you." <laughs> and I went. Well, wait a minute. I, you know, I'm supposed to. This doctor said I'm supposed to see an oncologist, right? And I'm thinking about this, and I, I so uh, they say go see your doctor, your primary physician. So I went to my primary physician. He said they wouldn't see you, and I said no. They said well, here's a blood guy, oncologist, whatever, and um, I called them, and made an appointment, and then I called these people back, and she said, well, no, maybe you got me wrong. No. They don't want to see you because they don't. They've looked at all your blood work and your, you know, your CT scans and all of that, and determined you don't have cancer. You don't have any cancer in your in your lymph nodes and in your blood. And so he said, and we just told you to go back and see your doctor for whatever follow up might have to happen. I got them wrong. So when I found that out, I just you know I didn't I canceled the appointment with the other hematologist uh, oncologist because I'd probably get the same answer hey we've looked at your record we don't see anything here all either that or they give me every test all over again mm -hmm. you know so um, I, I don't think that I had yeah I don't think that I had anything N nothing approaching what the, the thing you would worry about getting is lymphoma and, and I didn't have lymphoma they looked at all the work and they said that. So that's that's what happened on that since you weren't up to date on that. You know. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I'll be dead soon anyway, so. Yeah. What the hell? You got a little longer. Huh? You got a little longer. Yeah, about a week and a half. Something like that. <laughs> so we went, we got the shot. To, I, I got to tell you something. Is that the third booster in this one? Or? This is the third booster, yeah. Um, I, we go up there, and I, 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 I think I probably said this on this show, that what bothered me about signing up for Rite Aid was I had to fill out all this paperwork, or paperwork work on the computer. And it was extensive, and it was a pain in the ass, and you had to take a picture of your... Of your uh, uh, your, your insurance card, and you had to get, send them that, and you had to do this, and you had to answer 8,000 questions, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I said to Marjorie, I said, you know, thank God, I'm, I'm an old guy, but thank God I know something about computers and filling these kind of things out, because if I didn't, I wouldn't know what I was doing here. I wonder what happens to people who don't, you know, don't know how to do this stuff, and more than that, maybe you don't even have a computer. So now we go to get our shot, and we have to wait, okay? We had an appointment for, you know, I had an appointment for 11.20, and they didn't see me until I finally went up to them and said, are you going to do anything? You know? And um, meanwhile, while we're sitting there, this old guy goes up and says, I'd like to get the, uh, the new, uh, the, you know, the third booster. And they said, you have to go online and sign up, which is what they told us. And he walks away, and then he comes back and he says, I can't go online because I don't have a computer. And this, this, this proved my point to me. Mm -hmm. That, you know, this, the very people that need to get the booster can't get it because maybe they don't own a computer or they don't know how to sign up or they don't know how this whole thing works. Mm -hmm. They should have a machine at the, at the Rite Aid where you could fill stuff out and they help you with it and so on, but no. And what, you know what their suggestion was to them? Find mm -hmm. another pharmacy. <laughs> Remember right we in? talked about it Saturday, I said this is exactly what they did at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah, and the very people. Same shit all over again. Well, what, what's happening here is the very people who need it can't get it because, you know, they don't have a computer. Right. That's, that's, that's what I was saying, is they're doing the same thing that they did at the beginning of the pandemic. Everybody go online and then people couldn't do it. My mom couldn't do it. I had to do my mom and my mother-in-law. I had to take them down. I had to fill out the forms for them and the whole bit. Yeah, yeah. See, I guess I would disagree because 
we we went online and we got our we set our appointment and i didn't know right date even had it because we ended up going to walgreens and they were welcoming people in afterwards like they were so booked up and you know everybody was waiting in line but then there's still people coming in oh you know old people can i get the extra shot you know and they're putting them in line and saying you got to wait you know no they were doing it yeah yeah but for this think round online for this round yeah yeah i already had mine no i mean this this last bivalent one yeah i had mine and that's what i'm saying there was old timers coming in there and like I, you know, Probably I'm coming in to get my shot, and you know, they're like, "Yo, did you schedule an appointment?" No. Well, you gotta wait a little bit, and they yeah. end up getting it. Well, that's what it was happening in the other in the the other the other end too, because um, they would have extra shots, and they got to get rid of them because they're in the refrigeration. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, extra ones, and they'll start telling people in the store, "Hey, you want a shot? You want a shot? We got to get rid of these things." Yeah, yeah so, so yeah. you know, it's really got to be it, it, it. The very people who need it are maybe yeah. not getting it because they just can't get it. It was easier to get the other ones. The other ones, you just, uh, if I remember correctly, the last two, I didn't have to sign up. I just walked in and they took me. You know, I felt we filled we're out in all a the pandemic and they were all over the place. That's well, why. that was a different story. That one, we had to wait two hours in line. I got mine within a week of what came out when it came out. So. Yeah, but uh, you've had all yours, haven't you, Tony? Uh, I only got. I think I got only one booster. Only I one didn't get booster. The second one yet. Well, then, and then there's a third. I know. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I was. I just didn't have. I just didn't want to get the second one really, right away. No, let me ask. And then when I got a third one, why didn't you want to get the second one? I don't know. I mean, because I figure I had COVID. Did you, you got the first and the second, right? Yes. Yes. And then you got the like, third. I, don't think, I, I didn't get the third. I just got the first boost. I well, didn't you know something. Boost. Those those are a long time ago now. You yeah, need. I didn't a, get the second. You need a booster. So, you I know. Mean, I didn't get the flu shot yet either. I was going to get that first. I mean, what's going to happen? I think. And and correct me if together. I'm. Well, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. But I think at this point, um, uh, they're going to be giving you a, a COVID shot every year. It's going to be like getting the flu yeah. shot, you know, and maybe, yeah. as you say, part of the flu shot. Uh, but I think, to begin with, the president screwed up the other day by telling yeah. people it's all you over with, mistake. the coast is clear, you know. It's not. Clearly not. People are but still dying. To, we don't... to a point, I agree because hospitals are not overrun anymore. They're so not. If you didn't get yeah. if you didn't get the shot, fuck you. It's your own fault. So if you die, whatever. Well, hospitals aren't overrun. If you have, a, there's still a, there's still a thousand people a day dying. If you have a medical condition that you know makes you more susceptible to it, you need to be wearing a mask. Well, I, I'm I'm 82 years old. That that's a comorbidity right there. But it's not. You're yes, healthy. it is. No, you're healthy. No, no, I'm 82. While I may look healthy, I'm 82. That's not healthy. I bet you anything. When you had COVID, if you didn't get that extra medicine, you would have been just. Hey, fine. I had cancer. <laughs> that made me. And you probably would have just been fine. Well, you already had your vaccines. Well, I that isn't what the science says. I, you know, I disagree. I think that's what the science I, does say. You, you had uh, your vaccines. I, I, Al, Alan, fi Al, Alan finds the uh, follows the science every day. It's his his hobby. And would you agree with me that uh, you know? I would agree with you, Alex. Mm -hmm. You know that I was in a high so risk. I. I was I was in a high risk uh, category uh, yep. because I had cancer, not terrible cancer. You know the kind of I, I almost. Huh? They're more concerned about your age right now than, than yeah. that you had cancer. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's explain. more of a concern with with uh, COVID. So yeah. your doctor was smart to give you the Paxlovid, and you, yeah. you, you, you might have been okay without it, but why take that chance? Yeah, yeah. What, what uh, yes. I was talking to my uncle from the hat place that, you know, because he was calling me to see how everything was going. Yeah. And he got he got all the boosters and everything. And he got COVID before he got before the vaccine came through. It was like my mother passed away in January of last year. So he got it in November. 
And you know, his lungs are so bad, he's on oxygen in the house, and, but he's a heavy guy. And he's never, my aunt bounced back from Phyllis, but Arnold, I was just talking to him, Alex, he can't go from here to the bathroom without oxygen breathing. Really? Did that much of a number on him. Yeah. 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 So I think, you know what? I mean, when Biden said that the other day, you really can't say it's over if you have to Is wear it. Is he vaccinated? A... Yeah, he's vaccinated, yeah. Yeah, but, but you know, and being vaccinated helps a great deal. And if he comes down with it again, uh, like I got, I got COVID. Uh, How was co- the second co- time you got it? Were you suffering? Did you have any? I got COVID, COVID once, and uh, it was a couple months ago. And it was uh, I called my doctor, and Marjorie got it, and we called the doctor, and he uh, said, "Okay, take the Paxlovid." In fact, I said, should we get it? And he said, yeah, if you want it, you can, I'll like, make, get a, a prescription for you. And we took the Paxlovid. And with me, well, she had a few symptoms. With me, it was like I didn't have anything. You know, my I, had the, I had, I tested positive. I took the pills. And the next thing I know, I'm not testing positive. You know. See, like when I had COVID, it just, it, to me, it's like what people describe as allergies. But I'd, I'm not allergic to anything. You, know, you see, I don't but have also, also and, you're younger. I, I agree. You know. But at the same time, I was vaccinated, just like other people who are older get vaccinated. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was nothing to me. And I, I, I got COVID. You know, I had to take a week off of work. The bottom line is everybody's different. That's the bottom line. You might have got the no, you might have got, that, that was going to be my point, just what Kevin said. Age has it's something right. to do with it, okay? Age has a lot to do with it. How old are you now? You're different. You're different. You're you're a different age. There's different age, different bodies, different people. That's all it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Tony. And I, uh, I was going to say this. When my, brother got, when my brother and me got COVID, the first time my brother got it with me, this is before the vaccination came out, I was going to tell, is that... Uh, he was okay. Like after two days, he would he had a slight cough, nothing. When he came back from Florida with his girlfriend from Disney World, they caught COVID like a petri dish down there. He was sick, coughing for about almost two weeks, and yeah. he was and he's fully boosted because he works for the city. Well, I now Queens was the petri. Well, day. now what you do? Of course, we had the highest death rates out here. The hospital. No, but now what you do? Now what you do is you take the Paxlovid, and that just really yeah, he, kills it. You know. He had to ask the doctor. Guess what? Paxlovid doesn't work on some people and they die. So really? it's all different people, different bodies. You know, we know so little about this. this Everybody is a different kind of As long as you're wearing a mask, you feel safe, that's fine. People yep. who drive by themselves yeah. with a mask on, they feel safe, so let them do it. That's right. You gotta, you gotta think about how many people are sitting in a room with a cold and <laughs> you'll walk out without a cold and the other one will get sick. Yep. Same Je- Jeff had yep. his hand up. Jeff? Oh, I was going to say about my uh, my sister, mm-hmm. who's 70 years old mm-hmm. and a uh, real healthy person, mm-hmm. happens to be a nurse also. Uh, she got COVID, and it's been going on for over a month, a month, yeah. several months, and it doesn't go away. Right. And ultimately, they're talking about giving her some surgery. Really? Her lungs are better? Yeah. Some people have lung COVID. Kind of like what Kevin said a minute ago. Everybody's different. Well, you know, That's so right. they, I don't know that I that I still don't have effects from it because this tiredness that I have all the time and the lightheadedness, I think, may have had something to do with getting the COVID, you know? You had, yeah. that you had COVID. You were complaining about that before you had COVID. Well, no, I, this it, it seems to have become a little more prevalent. It can be long COVID, like a, well, uh, it's it's long haul, but it isn't long haul. I mean, no, I don't think that's terrible, but I do have something going on here that's just you know been making me weak and so on. Like I lately, I've had a hard time walking. You know, taking walks. Um, All being in your 80s. Well, 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 my legs are kind of like really screwed. I I do too, and I'm 65, and I haven't had COVID. Yeah, Yeah, I'm the same way. Oh, oh, look, are you over at uh, Ray? Are you over at Tony's house? I am. am. I'm I'm here with his mom. (laughs) And uh, we're having a drink. Can I say, I told you, 
You want to hear something funny? I like when he does that, you know? Ray, what? the doll of my mother has better teeth than me. I'm jealous. <laughs> better <laughs> teeth than Ray. I mean, oh, look, they're talking perfectly straight. I have good teeth. Ray has I good have, teeth. I just oh, I'm going to say something. I say one thing. Ray on that show the other night, I listened to Josh's show. It was entertaining. Ray, you're, he's really good, Ray, talking. Yeah. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, I told that to, to Phil. I got to I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with Josh. Because... Um, I mean, he's, you're entertaining, Ray. I was just saying. You have, well, because maybe you're an actor. You speak that. Yeah, i got to figure out what to do with I'm Josh. Podcast, because too. I've been doing it for years. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, no, the question is what I'm going to do with Josh. I'd like to give him something, but not have to put too, work in, too much work into it myself, <laughs> you know. So I'm trying to figure out what to do because uh, Jack will be back, I think, on Monday. <clears throat> nice. at, at least he says so, you know. <laughs> And by the way, I talked to Will Durst. Uh, mm. He called me last night at one o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> and I went, you know what time it is here? Oh, I didn't oh, think about know. that. Uh, and I hadn't talked to him in a long time, so I talked to him today. Uh, and it's not like he's 100% better or something, but he's starting to be able to s uh, stand up on the leg oh, where perfect. he wasn't able to. And now he's <gasps> kind of able to. And, and where, where is he? Is he at home he, or no, still? No, he's still in the in the hospital. He's still in the nursing home. Uh, and the, but the thing is, uh, he's been there as of I think this week, three years. He's been oh my god since he had a stroke. You know, I mean, but they think they might be able to get him home. They think that might be a good possibility. I sure hope so. I think yeah. it would do so much to help him get better. You know, it's funny. I, I, I was talking to, um, who was I talking to the other day? And I just said, it just seems that every time I talk to somebody, a friend of mine, all we talk about is, so what's, how's your, how's your thing? And how's your thing? And, you know, are you, you know, and it, it's, I'd like to talk to somebody who doesn't have an illness. You know, I mean, I feel like getting old really sucks. I mean, it's like it's just dangerous. Marjorie has a medley of, of illnesses. You know, okay. you know. Oh yeah, but then again, she does something. She goes to doctors all the time. Yeah, she's got a doctor for this, and she's got a doctor for that. And you know, if you got enough doctors, they're gonna find stuff wrong with you. Yeah, you know. I mean, I mean uh, Shecky spent just got through spending three and a half days in the oh, yeah. hospital. Uh, and uh, they gave him every test known to mankind. Oh, and when he came out, they found something. He's you back know. home? Yeah, nothing is going to kill him, but they, fa they found something. And, uh, you know, when they put me in the emergency room, they tested every inch of my body, and they found a couple of things. Nothing that's going to kill me, but a couple of things. I so, asked the guy that. Am I dying? He well, somebody once me. said to me, I wouldn't be sick if I didn't go to doctors. You know, you know what somebody, Alex, is this true? Someone I was talking to one of these old timers, one of my mother's friends, and he used to say to the guy, John, he says, my brother, he's in his 70s. He goes, his older brother never will go to the doctor. He says, you know why? It's like you said, if I go there, they're going to find some. Well, if I mean, I'm going to yeah. go, I mean, you have to go. It's just the good words. I mean, uh, I mean. Oh, yeah. There, there was like, you know, we do testing for infectious disease and leukemia and all this stuff. And one of the guys, one of the smart guys who really helped the company go along in, in r d mm -hmm. he went and, and he passed away from something that could have been caught if he would have been detected with it if he would have been mm -hmm. going to the hospital so yeah, yeah I, I mean it sucks to to die from not being detected on a disease when you work for a company that detects disease <laughs> yeah oh my god i have I... cancer but if nobody tells me i'm fine yeah yes. <laughs> right can't get help uh, but, but you know i mean it it's uh, it, it, so i you know i don't know I, you know i mean all i know is that i came out of that emergency room terrorized by the fact that well i might have a lymphoma you know and uh nobody told me right i mean when they this nurse uh, this woman at the the oncologist called me back and said well they don't want to see you why well they won't see you unless you have cancer and I said, well, how do you know if I, you know, I, I'm thinking to myself, well, of course I don't have cancer till you tell me I've got cancer, 
you know. He told me. But what, they were, what she was trying to tell me was they checked everything and they couldn't find any reason to see you because they didn't see that you had anything. But they, but she didn't put it that way, and I was you terrorized. Them, two oh, three you weeks. Know, what? You can be said like this. Go in the back. Make sure I got. I mean, I know I have it. I got it. At least I got it. I said, okay, I can go home yeah. now. <laughs> but then again, I'm getting the point. With your teddy bear. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I got it in my room. He got. He sent me a teddy bear. That was nice of him. <laughs> I know he's very considerate. He'll send you stuff without even asking about it. Well, yeah. yeah. But this says get well on it. <clears throat> yeah. Did it have a camera attached in it? You know, like the eyes or something? Probably tracing me. You got all this cop stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, no. But anyway, I mean, so what did you... Well, teddy bear. So yeah. we were talking about Phil and him not admitting that Trump's got troubles. But I think I think Trump, Trump has finally been, is in a corner. And I think... My he, brother and me were talking know, about that. And he, he liked him. Thanks. What? Me and my brother were talking about it. He thinks he's going to go to... He lied to the banks to get those loans. Yo, oh, yeah. He lied. And like, that's the only thing question. wrong he ever did, Tony? But at the same exactly. time, he actually had a good point. Like, the banks went along with it. I was saying, the banks are complicit with this. I wonder, this is a bigger, they know what they're doing. They just don't give out right. loans. There's probably, there's probably more to this story than you really, than you know. Yeah, but he lies about everything, you yeah. know. And and what I, I think, what I think is wonderful that. is, is what the mask that's been taken off of him is the mask of millionaire you know it's like it does it looks like he ain't a millionaire a billionaire a billionaire billionaire billionaire, billionaire. billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. millionaire is peanuts yeah <laughs> yeah i mean jeff's a millionaire many times over yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, no but he's not a he's not a billionaire you know and I got and, and i think that's wonderful that we now what, know what, that one one of the things that he did is he picked this special master, and this guy is all over him. Well, he oh, they, the waters. Is they what he went to the, they went to uh, a uh, the uh, what do you call it, the Trump people? Oh no, the, yeah. the Justice Department went to uh, a um, uh, what do you call it? You know, they went to oh to god, my mind the is master possible. judge. No, 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 no. The um, the appeals court. They went to an appeals court to appeal what the other judge had said about them. Uh, 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 hold on a second. Let me think about this a second. I'm, I'm really out of it right now. Um, it went to the appeals judge, uh, appeals court, to just say, hey, we want to be able to have the right to look at these documents again. And they mm -hmm. listened to the Justice Department, and they said, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. The other judge made a wrong determination. They completely vilified that, you know, that right. woman who had only been a judge for like about two weeks, <laughs> uh, and the Trump pick because she was in his pocket. The only okay. difference was he can't complain now because this appeals court and two of the three judges were appointed by Trump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he has nothing. And they about. said they don't have a case, you know, because. The latest thing from Trump, I mean, he's told Sean Hannity this, and, and, and I heard it any number of times today because MSNBC loved playing the clip over and over again. He said, you know, uh, all I have to do is say that something, a president has only has to say that something is uh, classified, uh, declassified, yeah. and it's declassified. In fact, I don't even have to say it. All I have to do is think it. Yeah, I heard that. What an idiot. Amazing. And I'm going, what is this? A psychic president? What is this? But yeah. to a, they, to a, they, wait, wait, what? They, they, had this meme, they had this meme today. That's Trump as I dream a genie. <laughs> and he's breaking. Declassified. Declassified. I like that. Bringing up a bunch of documents. No, yeah, I mean, you I mean have this. you ever heard anything that stupid in your life? Wait. To a point, he is kind of right. No, he's because a not. President, no, he's not. a president can declassify anything. No, they can't. And there is not really. No, they can't. There is not really. No, they cannot, no, Jason. There is awesome. not really Wrong. a specified process of him declassifying. There it. are certain unless he wants to make it. Unless he wants to make you're, it like you're, you're wrong. Legal. You're wrong, Jason. But, but it is still government property. 
So even if he did declassify a document, that document is still a government property, so he can't take it. Yes, uh, uh, yes, um, uh, Alan. So Jason, you're saying that he can put out on the internet all the codes and the instructions yes. how, to, how to launch, listen to me first, please, how to launch the missiles, our nuclear weapons in other countries. Just put it on the internet, that's declassified. According to what I have heard, where people were actually making the argument, where did you hear? Kind of against him. Where did you? They hear? were saying a president. The president does have the ultimate authority no, to make he, something he classified doesn't. or No, he doesn't. He has to go through a process which is also signed off by other people. He can't just say. Especially the author of the document. Huh? Especially the author of the particular document. He has to sign off on. Classified. It. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just do that. You, you know, you'd like to think that when you become president, and Trump believed this, you, you're immune from everything. You can do anything you want to. You don't have as much power as you think you do. You, including yeah. that old, you know, touching... You can't write a law. Touching no. women on their pussies, you know, no, because no, you're no, president. No, no, no. A law into, you can sign something into law, but you can't write the law. The first two years of his presidency, he had the Congress, all Republicans. He couldn't get the wall built. Yeah, you know, he found out real quick that he's not that powerful. But you can't so. just you can't just genie bink a law into being because you're president. You don't have that ultimate, uh, you know. Yes, you can say I want the I want this to be declassified, and I approve of being declassified, and then put it through everybody else that has to also yeah. sign yeah. off on it. Yeah. Yes, Tony. Trump would probably be the guy who played Monopoly when we were kids, stealing money from the bank. You mm -hmm. know, when you <laughs> take this. How come we're low on 500? <laughs> yes, Ray. I just yeah. want to say that uh, the spirit of turn, the turn up your mic. Turn up being, your mic. Oh, you can't hear me very well? No. Uh, no correct. Okay. Oh, let's see. There's that better? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Okay. Let me turn the original sound off. Okay. Yeah, the, I think that, like, technically what Jason said might be correct because... Uh, the president does have the power to declassify, but there's been all kinds, but it, there are also other things that come into uh, into play. Uh, the wisdom of it, uh, the processes that have been uh, established, especially since the Obama administration regarding classified documents that have been agreed upon by the, all the people in government. Mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't follow any of that stuff. Yeah. No, so, th there is a process. But and he, you can't just say it's declassified and it's declassified. No, well, yes, he said you yes, can think the, it. But the yeah. president can actually say that. But there is there is a process, but there, it's not really spelled out. But if there the was a process, Jason, the next president, the next president, the problem is, problem the next is, president can say, you said it was declassified. I say it's classified and it's reclassified. Well, no, no but, but it has to go like so. So if you say it's declassified to someone, they they initiate the process. Somebody in the administration, they have to go to the person who classified it, declassified it, then it's stamped declassified. There's a whole process in place in the government, and everybody knows about it. And it's and it's to help to protect our the, our, the, the, our right, country yeah, the, and the, the people who are named in those documents and all of the things that can happen if they, those things get leaked. Right, and then like I said, the, the next president can say no, that's classified, that's reclassified. Well, the judge, the right. judges, the judges the, said the, to the them. Process. They said to them, you can't have it both ways, you know. You can say you declassified them, but now you've got to prove show it. us, prove it. And yeah. they couldn't. They had no proof right. of it. All they had, the only proof they had was he genie binked it. That's know? why he says, I can just think it and it's declassified. <laughs> and that's not true. That's, that's not, not true. true. Yeah. No. Nobody would know it was declassified. <laughs> yeah. We are right. not the drones you are looking for. I mean, the president isn't the person who has to go through the process after he said, he says, I want this declassified, and then people go through the process of declassifying it. But you can't just think it and, and then, yeah. ah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's ridiculous. I, th I think Alex said the best thing yesterday, that Trump is a liar and full of shit. <laughs> well, that's putting, that was a technical thing I said, you know. And he also he also says, yeah, I took these documents and declassified them. And in the same breath, he says, oh, the FBI planted them. Which yeah. is it? Yeah. Which is it? I mean, you can't have it both ways. That's right. I want the documents back, but the FBI planted them? Yeah, that's ridiculous. But but like I said, even if he declassified it, it's still government property. Yeah, you can't no, just take the government final, property. The, yeah, the final part of this is it is 
government property and you don't take it home okay and if you do take it home you sign out for it and then you return it the next day but you don't put it where everybody can see it and some of those uh, uh, documents were documents you can't even take out of the place where they're stored you know right, right. well you know uh, in mar-a-lago you it's a club and you can join the club and go on to the property of Mar-a-Lago. It's a membership deal. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we know that Russian spies aren't members of Mar-a-Lago? I mean, no. if you were if you were trying to plant spies, wouldn't you do that? It only costs two hundred thousand dollars to join. It, hey, the Russian government's got that money. Yeah, you know. Uh, They're yeah. pretty sure they had Chinese national spies in there. Mm -hmm. La uh, last year and the year before, these these unknown yeah. Chinese nationals just showed up out of nowhere and snuck in, didn't pay. Oh, by the way, by the way, in case you don't know, Mar-a-Lago is valued at something like $750 million. But actually, that was Trump's estimation. The real estimation, and they did do a, you know, uh, an assessment. Appraisal. An appraisal. appraisal, and the appraisal came to something like sixty-five million dollars. Well, that's only a hundred times or so different. And also, <laughs> here's another one of his great lies. I love this one. The uh, his uh, residence in Trump Tower is eleven thousand square feet. I heard Not that. thirty-three. But actually, it's only eleven thousand square feet. And didn't they say he said his apartment, Alex, was worth like three hundred million? Like well, no, that, that's what I'm saying. He was yeah, he was basing he was basing he was basing the worth on that based on the no. fact that it is uh, uh, what did I say originally? Uh, uh, Seven hundred and fifty million or something. You know, yeah, no, the square footage. The, oh, the one mansion like thirty thousand million. million. Yeah, thirty thousand. Thirty thousand, and it's actually. Truthfully, it's only. You know, <laughs> My brother said what you said. He's like, what? The it's you only. It's, know, Alex, it's, his place is almost as big as yours. Truthfully, uh, actually, <laughs> mine is. <laughs> mine is a quarter. <laughs> the, mine is a quarter <laughs> the size of his, of the real footage. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Now, also, you know he. You know you know how many floors Trump Tower has. This is funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, it has. Left. It has. Well, it has fifty-eight floors. The reason it has 58 floors is he wants it to be the tallest building. It, he wants it to be taller than the GE building, which is down the street, okay? The only problem is it isn't 58 floors. It's only something like 48 floors. They skip a bunch of numbers. He skimps, skips 10 floors. <laughs> and one time, the fire there was a fire in the building, and the fire department had to go up to, like, I don't know, the 39th floor or something like that, and they couldn't find it because of the way he jimmy-rigged the whole yeah. thing about, you know, how, how tall the building was. That must suck. Yeah, it's normal to skip the 13th floor because it's bad luck. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that must suck being in the elevator and hit floor 40 and the door open and it's a wall there. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get the elevator man, your, the elevator installation people to agree to that? I don't I don't know exactly how he did it, but what they if you hey, if you look it up, if you go and you look up yeah. how many floors is Trump Tower, they tell that story. Yeah. You know. well, when I used to sell uh, equipment to elevator manufacturers many years ago, mm -hmm. like they have these strict rules in the elevator uh, elevator construction business, so it just blows my mind that they got away with that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, but that's the kind of lying he does, and he lies about his wealth and whatever, so that he can, when he borrows money from the bank, they go, "Oh, he can afford it. He's a billionaire," but no, he's not a billionaire. <clears throat> You he's know. a perfect human specimen per his doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's, got, he's a better health than me. Oh, well, it weighs 120 pounds or 200. Uh, pounds. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. It's amazing. It's just amazing what this guy does. You think uh, Phil believes everything, Alex, or no? What? You think Phil believes everything? No. I, I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. Oh, no, doesn't. Phil Jr. How do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, 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 I don't believe him. No, but I'm saying that 
that uh, Tony Neither suddenly we, became um, an acolyte of Trump's for a short time. But I don't yeah, think you like I went after my I saw the light with my chance. <laughs> you know what? Just in case I check out, I better do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, you, you look at this and you're not happy with Trump. My are brother you? hates his guns. Trump. I, he's a liar. He I, there's certain things I did like that he did when he ran the country. But as far as his attitude and lying, he's just not a nice guy. What did you like about what he how he ran the country? Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to. I have to a few things that you, I did. You like can't come up with it. No, you can't like, come he, up with like it. He's like Phil. I'm like, I'm on. I got homework still to do from now, and I'm reading a sales book. I feel like I'm in college and I dropped out. I don't. You know what it is? I can joke around a little bit, so I'll ham it up. Do I? Did I really like his ad? I I never really liked the guy. I mean, I got to be honest about. It. Yeah, I like that he stepped away from regulating things. Like he didn't get in people's way. But who knows? You know what? The country could have fell down to it. He could have left a big mess because you did have a pandemic, and I don't think it was just going to snap his fingers. Even if he was still in office, that was never going to happen. Can you imagine how he would have handled the Ukraine situation had he still been in office? I think the Russia might have taken the Ukraine over. Ukraine situation is because of him. Russia. What? What'd you say? Uh, I'm saying the Jason. Ukraine situation is because of him. Hillary Clinton was talking about this back in 19 uh, or 2019. Yeah. You know, saying how the Russians are building up troops around Ukraine and they're going to be going in and doing what they're doing. And it was already, they knew it. And Trump was trying to freaking help the Russians out and let them get away with what they're doing now. He'd be, they'd be getting away with it right now. They absolutely would be getting away with yeah. it. I don't know if we would have supported them with weapons. I don't know. I think he oh, would No, he wouldn't have supported them. Oh, he them. definitely wouldn't have. No, no yeah, he was he, stopping he them really from getting them. them. Remember, he was withholding the weapons. Yeah. Back. That's why he got impeached the second yeah. time. You know, if you don't he want... Been overrun, I think. It's, o it, it's okay not to be too happy with Biden because there are a number of things he does that's not good and there are things he does that are terrific. One of the things he did that was terrific was how he rallied the world around to help the Ukraine. Yeah, I think the Ukraine thing was good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how can you know. help you? And, and uh, you know, he's... Uh, somebody mentioned the other day, everybody talks about how doddering is or how old he looks, you know. But the, would you rather have somebody as old and has all the talents that Joe Biden has, or would you rather have a young guy who doesn't particularly know the job? You know, you I mean, we had a complete Alex, amateur with Trump, obviously. But you said something, Alex, that I that I think Biden really should do. I think like the hate, like sometimes he's out too much with these you know, speeches that kind of seems comes across. The, maybe less is more. Maybe we don't need to see you so much. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I think he, you know, you don't need to do the drum beat. I think if he didn't show himself so much. Well, I, think, I, I, I what I've know. what I've said is that. He is not, he's an okay speaker, but he's not a great one. But he should really he's send, he should, he should send other people out to speak for him on certain subjects that they're experts at. In other words, if you have something about transportation, don't give the speech yourself, get Pete Buttigieg. Uh, job Buttigieg, that's his job. Yeah. You know, don't, in other don't, words, don't. allow other people, don't, don't, don't mm -hmm. let people see you that much. You know, just get the job done. Let them know you're working. You know, you're getting the job done. Uh, but, you know, when it came to Ukraine, he handled it pretty well. I really wish he'd been more aggressive, actually. I'm, I'm one of the people that goes, you know, go ahead, Putin, drop a fucking nuclear device. You know, <laughs> Russia will be powder the next day. It's saber, saber rattling. Yeah. I think, I think Russia has already proven that they're not the strength that they thought they oh, were. they're very weak. I'll <laughs> tell you something. Right now in Russia, Putin's in a lot of trouble. Oh, yep. I mean, everybody's starting to turn on him. Even yep. the oligarchs are going, bye-bye. You know, we Do you don't know how many to... oligarchs have been pushed out of windows? Yeah, at least five that I know of. A, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Like, way more, like, su fake suicides, car accidents, window fallings. I think of... within a month, Putin is not going to be in power anymore. Well, they say he is, he's not well. He'll be living at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's going to be buried in the same freaking uh, golf course that Trump's wife is. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. Oh, is it? No, that's not yeah. Mar-a-Lago. That was in no, uh, no, New no, Jersey. No, he's in New Jersey. He's New Jersey. Oh, uh, what do I know? 
Yeah, you should, Sorry, she's Jason. buried at. Uh, she's on. The, I think she's the 18th hole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Putin will be the 19th hole. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. By the way, I interviewed her a few years back uh, oh, wow. when I was in San Francisco, and I liked her. You know, she was a very yeah. smart woman, very smart woman. And um, uh, she might still be alive today if she didn't live in that damn apartment with the staircase. Yeah. You know? I don't know why she didn't have a walk in. Really. Did she fall down the stairs? Is that what yeah, happened? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Broke her neck. Wow. Yeah. Maybe Trump pushed her. That's <laughs> the rumor. Okay. The rumor. Maybe it was a faulty rugged system. Well, it, 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 shouldn't, it wouldn't have been the rumor because really she has kept her mouth shut where Trump is concerned. You know, she hasn't become a she didn't become a naysayer, but she also didn't become a. Uh, uh, a what well, obviously, because you pushed out how many kids? Yeah, but I mean, she but she didn't become a. Uh, uh, you yes, know, she would have kept her mouth open. It would have been a couple of less kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, but or swallow. Yeah. Non disclosure from the divorce. She couldn't say anything bad about Trump. Right. Right, He's right. She probably, she, he probably paid her off not to say. No. Well, there's one other wife that we never talk about who had a kid by Trump, Marla Maples. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, Marla oh, Maples. Yeah. yeah, and uh, she has she been critical about him? I think she has been to, uh, kind of to a smaller extent. The daughter. It, it's hard to tell how she feels. It's like I don't know. I guess she. I guess some of them are, are still <coughs> believe he's a billionaire. You know. And they're, they're hoping they'll get some money out of them. But, uh, oh Tiffany. boy, you know. Tiffany I, Trump. I, yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought that when he was no longer president, we wouldn't hear from him any longer. Hmm. And it, it doesn't stop. Every day there's a fucking picture of him every hour on MSNBC. I don't want to see that there's face. There's so many Americans who are still just so just... Hmm. Follow him like yeah, not you know, not as so many crazy. as you would think. I think maybe maybe thirty. I see him every day. Is so crazy. I know they're out there. Where do you live, Jason? Detroit. Oh yeah. I thought Detroit was mostly Democrat. Outskirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you know, it 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 it, it mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of sad that some people feel that way about him, but I think. The majority of the American people, I, I don't think he could get elected president again, not with all this stuff. And and I think the the Republicans are going to want to distance themselves from him because he's got too much baggage. You Maybe know? we'll get that guy in Florida. Uh, uh, Santa. Uh, like what a what a piece of work he is, and he's being sued by a bunch of immigrants. Yeah. 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 So I I will have to say like one thing I actually kind of do agree with them shipping immigrants to other cities. Why is that? Because they should be spread out. Because no, they, we, it, we the need them. Is we out. need them in no, other areas. But it's not the reason why they did it. Exactly. Well, because yeah, they I mean, should be working with those other cities and let them know, hey, I'm going to be sending these people here. Yeah. And they're not. How, how many can that. you take without having too much of a pressure on your community? But also, know? these states that are doing this are getting money yeah. from the federal government yeah, the for these immigrants. So cut off the funds. You want to ship them off to other areas and you're not going to tell them where you're going? Yeah. Cut off the money. Yeah. If but, I was an immigrant, I would love to be in Martha's Vineyard. That's a nice area. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. but but you, you don't want to be in Martha's Vineyard when you didn't necessarily want to go there. The one time you see it, I'd be like, this is better plus, than plus you're there and you don't have any money. So, you know, it And that's the thing matter. we need to remember. These aren't immigrants from other countries. These are the natives of yeah. this continent. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, they were they weren't in Florida. They were shipped to Florida by Texas. From Texas. They were actually from Texas. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's it's so horrible what they're doing, it, it, and it, and it was it was uh, it, 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 it they were lying to them. They told them they were going for better jobs. Sign this, re, you know, release. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the release was in English. A McDonald's card. <laughs> yeah, and a McDonald's card. You're right. Anyway, hey, that's it. The uh, the uh, theme is going. Hear that? Uh, and uh, uh, thank you so much, Alan, for being with us again tonight. Uh, Brian, always good to have you here. Uh, Jason, love it when you call. It just, you know, 
uh, and, and, and uh, Tony, uh, you know, if you need some to, to talk to somebody about this, I let me know. Talk. Oh, yeah, I got you myself. Yeah, you, I got you on your um, on your speed dial, huh? I'm on your speed dial. Yeah, I have you saved. I told yeah, I told yeah, Chuck yeah. you yeah. feel that. Anyway, uh, Jeff, thank, thank you, you, thank you, Kevin, thank you to Ray, and of course, uh, thank you to our good friend Charlie Wallace. Everybody, give a big mm-hmm. wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you okay there they go that's our citizen panel for tonight and let me just hang up on them here unceremoniously um of course there's no jack bishop next because he's still out but he'll be back again they he said on monday so we'll see what happens anyway uh in the meantime i'll put on some other programming right after this and i'll see you again tomorrow right same time same station in life in the meantime as always If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.